Hello, I'm Alex Sui. Lately, I've been asked many questions regarding Qigong, and I can group them as one big question. How to learn Qigong effectively online? And that's a great question because I understand that learning Qigong or anything else, it is way easier if there is a teacher in person to teach you. And sometimes by just watching videos, it is very confusing. So today I'm gonna give you some tips regarding learning Qigong online, and hopefully that can be helpful in your Qigong training. Tip number one, be patient. I understand that by learning Qigong through videos, the instructor is saying a million things and we can't remember everything. But that is okay because videos we can watch as many times as we want. So there's no rush, we don't have to get everything in one go, so just don't be stressed and stay relaxed and learn the movements. Tip number two, watch the movement before following. This is a great tip from one of my teachers. And if you have ever been to a Chico or Tai Chi class, you can always see that when the teacher is demonstrating, there are always some students that are following right away. And that might not be the best method because as a beginner, there are many things to process. You have to watch the movement, you have to follow the movement. So it is actually best to first watch the movement so you get a general idea of how the movement is. And then when you learn, it is way easier. Tip number three, order of learning. There are so many things in the video, so which one should we focus on first? So let me give you a basic framework on the order of learning Qigong. Number one, remember the basic movements. And when I meant basic, it is really the basic. So don't worry about all the fine details. Approximation is fine at this stage. And for some movements are more complicated, it might take you watching more than over 10 times of the video, which is fine because we can watch as many times as we want. Number two, after memorizing the basic movements, or at least we can follow the movements of the video easily, we have to make sure our breathing is correct. Qigong is a breathing exercise, so in order to get the full benefits or to prevent any side effects, we have to get the breathing right. So if a certain movement is inhale, we don't exhale or vice versa. If there are any unsure movements that you're not sure if it's, it should be inhaling or exhaling, ask is always better than guess. After memorizing the basic movements and getting the breathing right, we can start to work on the details of the movements. And during this time, we can watch the video multiple times just to take a look at the instructor, analyze the finer details of the movements. For example, the arm movement, what is the angle like? or how the instructor is moving their core instead of just moving the limbs. And lastly, visualization. This is when you are confident about the movements, you don't have to follow the video, and you can concentrate and focus. So this is the stage where you can really get the health benefits out of Qigong. Tip number four, writing notes or practice journals. Again, one of my teachers taught me this and I found that really helpful because not only can I summarize all the important points so that I can constantly remind myself, but also I can use this to write down my reflections and thoughts. And personally, I have a practice journal that I write down every session, what did I practice, what do I think I can improve on, and all the thoughts about my training. So I think that is really important in terms of improving in your Qigong. Tip number five, find a Qigong partner. I think this is very important because number one, it is always way more fun to have someone do it with you and it keeps you motivated too. And But also number two, you and your partner can constantly review each other's movement and make sure the movements are correct. And of course, if you really couldn't find a partner, you can videotape yourself and look at your own movements. Tip number six, adjust to your body. Everyone is different. Everyone has a different body type, different body condition. So you don't have to be exactly the same as the instructors in the video. So for example, someone breathes slower, someone breathes faster. So you don't have to do the same speed as which in the video. So the most important question is when you're doing the movements, do you feel natural? And finally, tip number seven, enjoy the process. Qigong is an art that takes a lifetime to learn. Even for me, I've been doing it for a while. I still have a lot to learn. I still have a lot to improve on. So just be patient. And if you don't get it today, that's fine. You can practice tomorrow. If not, then we'll practice the day after. Eventually, you will get it. So just be patient and enjoy the Qigong learning process. So these are the seven simple tips for learning Qigong online. And hopefully these can be helpful to you. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave in the comment section below. 
Thanks for watching today. Stay healthy and I will see you next week.